Hey everybody, I wasn't expecting to be making another update right now, but the response to that last video has been a little bit overwhelming, honestly. I expected a few hundred views, not 12,000 or so last time I looked. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on where everything's at uh, and kind of go over why I started doing this. My wife was working on perfecting the game, which she has done since I started this project. And I decided I was going to start up a new save, and shortly after I was like, you know what would be kind of fun? Stardew in 3D. Just as it is. And that's kind of all there was to it. I was like, you know what, let me see if I can make a mod that... And sure enough, you can. It's not particularly the most straightforward process. The way it works is it renders over the background layer and I could get rid of the entire background here that you see but it's for debugging and seeing what things are supposed to look like. Like this road still isn't working quite right. But one thing I did want to show off was the animated sprites and the new sprite renderer that works through the same system that renders the rest of the world. So like you can see the animations on the horses, the kids inside, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, there wasn't really a goal here though. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I'm working on is uh, I want to figure out a better way to get the height of objects since that's kind of the biggest necessity here. I actually don't want to go in there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for all the support and miscellaneous love and everything that it's, this has gotten so far. The source is available on GitHub. If anyone wants to try it out or tinker with it, I would welcome the help. Uh, I'm working two jobs right now, so it's not exactly like I've got uh, an insane amount of free time to actually work on this project. And if you feel like supporting me for whatever reason or out of the kindness of your heart, I do have a Patreon as well that'll be linked in the description. No need for that though, like I said, it is open source. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and kind of talk about some of the things that came up in the comments of the last video. Thank you all.